Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are talking about HDP Certified Developer Exam, in short, HDP CD. And as part of this video, I will club multiple topics which are related into one video. Those uh, multiple topics are these three ones, which are primarily about the user defined function. The first one is within a pig script, register a jar file of user defined functions. And the second one is within a pig script, define an alias for a user defined function. And third one is within a pig script, invoke a user defined function. So uh, here they are not trying to test you about writing a user defined function. They are only testing you to register a jar file of user defined functions, or uh, uh, define an alias and then invoke. So we will cover all these three things in one video. So on top of the, so there are, before getting into those details, let us understand what are different types of functions pig supports. So the, the one is, the first one is the predefined functions. Uh, one of the, uh, the example for, the, uh, for it is, if you go to my pig demo uh, script, in this I am using this count underscore star function uh, to get a number of records. And also for aggregation and all, we have used some, and there are many other functions which are already predefined in uh, pig. That is first uh, first set of functions. You don't need to do anything. You just start using those functions if you are knowledgeable enough about those functions. Second one is uh, uh, functions that are provided by third party. And in this case, uh, the pig community have built something called piggy bank and uh, you can just download that piggy bank register it to run so register it as part of your pig session or pig script and you can start using it okay uh, so that is the second set of functions which is called as piggy bank which is developed by third party open source pig committers which covers most of the reusable functions which are similar to uh, 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 any programming language have APS similar to that. And the third one is if as a developer, if there are, there are no uh, functions which serve your requirement or your business requirement, either out of the box or from the piggy bank, then the developers have to develop uh, the uh, uh, something called user defined functions using pig based APIs and uh, uh, developers have to compile a jar file and that jar file will be given to um, uh, will be used to um, uh, to invoke those functions uh, as part of the scripts so that is the third set of user defined functions so first set is the predefined functions which comes out of the box with the pig Second one is piggy bank, which is provided by the pig committers. And third one is the, the custom user defined functions, which are limited to that project or to that company. Okay. So in the first case, you don't need to do anything. In the second and third case, first you need to get the jar file either from outside sources such as piggy bank or from your development team within the organization. Once you get the jar file, First step is to register the jar file. Second step is to define an alias, which is optional. It is not mandatory that you, you have to define the alias. And the third step is you have to uh, use it as part of your scripts. So we will see all the three steps now. Okay. So for, uh, to register the um, jar file, either you need to get um, from your development team or you need to get from the third party. In this case, we'll use piggy bank. P piggy bank will be available as part of additional libraries out of the uh, 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 pig itself. Sometimes you have to download the latest versions to fix the bugs, etc. So let's set if we have piggy bank here. If we don't have, then we will try to download. As part of the certification, they will give the jar file you just have to remember the register command and then you have to uh, understand the define to define an alias to the function and the third one is to invoke that function okay so there are two jar files let me use this one 
so let us launch pig and registering is very simple you register and now the piggy bank is registered and now they are asking to define an alias for a user defined function so you can click on this and see if there is an example let me get into the third one probably here there could be an example these are all uh, talking about custom functions so let us see if there is any functions used from uh, piggy bank or so let us see here yeah so here we have registered the piggy bank and to use the upper function you need to know the class name so in this case uh, this is the class name which you are invoking okay so uh, that will be the part of the piggy bank so if you do jar tvs quit jar tvs and give that path and hit enter there are several classes and you have the class upper also in it okay so we have registered the jar file so we can access this uh, class and to invoke the function we have to use this fully qualified package and the class name for that class name without the class extension remember that so now let me get out of this and launch pig with hcat log okay and then uh, i will uh, create departments relation here load we have departments table under pig underscore demo database in my sandbox okay using org dot apache dot hive dot hcat log dot pig dot hcat loader and then you can dump departments to see what data we have there are six records and we will see all the records now in a moment so already the jar file is registered okay and you can see the six records now we will use the upper function so we should see all these uh, uh, records in the upper case so departments upper equal to we have to do the transformation so we have to use for each operator what is the relation name departments generate i want both the department id which is the first column name here and then i want to use this upper so i can directly type the fully qualified uh, class uh, package name and the class name so here it should be org dot apache dot pig dot piggy bank dot evaluation dot piggy bank dot evaluation dot string dot upper and department name i can provide alias as department name and hit enter and now if i do dump departments underscore upper you will see all the six records uh, but the department name will be upper so this is how you can directly use the function once you register it but i don't want to type the entire thing now you can see the data everything is in upper course uh, upper case all the department names are in upper case but i don't want to use the entire uh, string or entire fully qualified package name and class name to apply this to other defined functions for that purpose you need to define an alias so that's what the this one covers write a pig script define an alias for a user defined function okay so define let me name it as upper for org dot apache dot pig dot piggy piggy bank dot evaluation dot string dot upper
I think you don't need to specify for here define upper so define alias and the fully qualified class name yeah now it is successful now in the for each operator we just need to give the alias instead of the fully qualified class name so upper is our alias name which is defined under defined command and hit enter and then dump departments upper and while it is running the actual requirement is to write the pig script to, to deal with all these things so you can type history and uh, the register command uh, is not showing up here so let me delete the pig underscore demo dot txt here and then we add pig underscore demo dot txt and uh, let us see the path to register so this is the first command register in the script uh, i think each and every line should have the semicolon uh, i'm not 100 percent sure so i think for register command and all those things you don't need to do that but for uh, actual uh, pig uh, pig scripts where you actually define uh, relations etc there you have to specify the semicolon okay for rest of these three lines you have to have the semicolons so in this case let me directly go to the alias and then use this department's upper and then dump departments underscore upper okay save it and then come out of it then pig minus s pig demo dot txt and hit enter okay now it okay there is some issue okay i have to launch using h catalog because i am accessing high table okay now it is running it will take just few seconds and then we will review the results everything should be the uppercase our script contains registering defining and then using as part of simple transformation and you can see all the departments are names are converted to uppercase that being said i hope you're enjoying the content on the channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you have any technical questions use stack overflow with appropriate tags if you want to discuss further about certifications or big data, please join my LinkedIn groups called ITVersity hyphen certifications or ITVersity hyphen big data. And finally, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.